Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harvey. When do you crave refreshing iced tea? Twisted Tea wants to know. The next time you want that same satisfying refreshment, but with a kick, grab a Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea, the refreshing hard iced tea that tastes like real iced tea with a kick. Thanks for tuning in. This week we head out to iconic Hollywood, California for the 10th anniversary of Russell Mitchell's Exile Cycles. Held at the California headquarters and shop where the world famous custom designed motorcycles are built, this party celebrated Exile Cycles with music, choppers, bobbers, and celebrities of the custom built biker world such as Arlen Ness, Billy Lane, and of course the founder of Exile, the charismatic Russell Mitchell. Born to Ride TV and Magazine was invited to cover this special event, and we wasted no time getting to the West Coast as we knew this visit was a real privilege. In an upcoming episode, we'll bring you the extensive interviews with Russell, Arlen, and others in attendance, but this week, it's the sights and sounds from Exile Cycle's 10th year anniversary. And then we're off again to Maggie Valley, North Carolina, where Dale Walksler of the Wheels Through Time Museum gives us a detailed look at the rare motorcycles of the museum that runs. So stay tuned. All this and much more is headed your way right now, right here, only Born to Ride Television. It's coming. Save the date. Sunday, November 22nd, Born to Ride 20 Year Anniversary Party at Harley Davidson of Brandon. Brought to you in part by 866 Law Fran. MMI, how do I become a bike builder? My answer is always the same. You take your own bike, you customize it to look like you want it to do, you take it to the bike shows, you sell it at the end of the season, you buy another one, you do it again, you put your heart and soul into your own ride, and then you do it again and again and again. It's been the best 10 years that we can imagine. I just love working for Exile Cycles. And party on. Keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up.
Thursday, September the 17th through Sunday, September the 20th, it's Phil Peterson's 43rd Key West Poker Run, where the winner takes all, either a new Harley-Davidson 500 Street or $6,000 in cash. Sign up now online at petersonsharley.com. On Saturday, there'll be a Road Rage Magazine bike show with over 30 classes at Dirty Harry's, and it's all sponsored by Yingling. All this benefits the Diabetes Research Institute and the Key West Sunrise Rotary Club. Come celebrate the 43rd annual Phil Peterson's Key West Poker Run. Ride responsibly. It's the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Brought to you by the Monroe County Tourist Development Council. Saturday, October 31st and Sunday, November 1st, meet the legendary Jean Davidson and her son John at Crystal Harley Davidson. Get a copy of her book and she will sign it for you. Live music, food, and Harley Davidson motorcycles, merchandise, and more. Don't miss this great event at Crystal Harley Davidson. Hey Natalie, did you know we're the number one ATV dealer? I sure did. But do you know why? Because we sell more ATVs than anyone. That's right. That's because we're a Honda powerhouse dealer. All Honda, all the time. And we, we ha have the largest new and used Honda inventory. And we have, we have the, the lowest prices around. Plus, we, we can finance all types of buyers. And we, we pay cash for used bikes of any make. That's right. So when you're ready to buy, come visit your favorite Honda powerhouse dealer or check us out at nickspowerhousehonda.com. Saturday, September 26th, Nick's Powerhouse Honda, second annual fall open house. Tattoo contest, bike show, win a Honda scooter, free food, live music, win prizes on the hour, born to rag TV taping, you gotta see this place, Nick's Powerhouse Honda. If you're in the market for a motorcycle, I've got two guys that'll take care of you right here, Derek. Let me tell you something, come up here and see the family because you will be part of our family and you will enjoy it every month of every year. That's Harley Davidson of Ocala, right? Yep, Harley Davidson of Ocala, where you're treated like family every day, all day long, all year long. Come see us. These guys got it all happening. Check them out. Let them roll, baby. Let them roll. Let them roll. Let them roll. involved in a motorcycle accident. I'm the biker on your side. I'm Fran Hush, your attorney that rides. Motorcycle accidents get my experience and personal attention. And there are no fees and no costs unless you win. I've dedicated my career to helping accident victims and their loved ones. Your rights are my fight, and I'll never settle for less than you deserve. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Yes. He said, if you win, 
Thursday, September the 17th through Sunday, September the 20th, it's Phil Peterson's 43rd Key West Poker Run, where the winner takes all, either a new Harley-Davidson 500 Street or $6,000 in cash. Sign up now online at petersonsharley.com. On Saturday, there'll be a Road Rage Magazine bike show with over 30 classes at Dirty Harry's, and it's all sponsored by Yingling. All this benefits the Diabetes Research Institute and the Key West Sunrise Rotary Club. Come celebrate the 43rd annual Phil Peterson's Key West Poker Run. Ride responsibly. It's the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Brought to you by the Monroe County Tourist Development Council. October 10th and 11th to Orlando Speed World. Don't miss Stunt Wars. Go to StuntWars2015.com. Enter promo code Born to Ride for $5 off tickets. Hurry while supplies last. Fun Bike Center Motorsports. It's Lakeland Center for Fun. Fun Bike Center's 60,000 square foot showroom is packed with great motorcycle deals. Own a Yamaha T Max 500 scooter for only $36.99 or ride off on a Harley. Davidson Screaming Eagle Ultra Classic Electric Glide for only $18,999. See more great deals now at funbikecenter.com. Open late every Wednesday night.
Sunday, September 20th, Peggy's Corral, Wild Stock 17. 11 hours of live music hosted by Vic the Beanie Guy. This is the event of the year for historic Peggy's Corral, Wild Stock. That's Sunday, September 20th. For more information, go to peggyscorral.net. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Time to get noticed with Media Design Shop. Web design management and hosting, logo designs, marketing material, social media presence, video production, consulting, ad creations, and more. Time to get noticed. Media Design Shop. Call now for a free consultation. You know, when people think about old motorcycles, they usually think of Harley Davidson's or Indian motorcycles. Seldom does anybody think of the Dayton. Most people have never heard of a Dayton motorcycle. Of course, in the early history of American motorcycling, over 150 manufacturers, and in Dayton, Ohio, made by the Davis Sewing Machine Company, comes the most outstanding, what I call gentleman's motorcycle of its time, the Dayton Twin, and for the lady, the Dayton Motor Wheel. Two extremely cool bikes, and the bike I'm sitting on, such an extremely rare piece, 1914 Dayton motorcycle V-twin engine with an incredible suspension system, the true gentleman's motorcycle, and we're going to put a sidecar on it in just a little bit. This machine was actually found about 20 years ago in Tony's Tire Shop somewhere in Pennsylvania by a couple old friends of mine from Vermont at Harbor Vintage Motorcycles. They discovered this old motorcycle and the Dayton motor wheel, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. You know, a lot of people ask me where I find all of these rare bikes, and the story of the Dayton being found in Tony's garage is certainly interesting. Where I found the motorcycle was from the fellas that got it, from the guys who got it out of that garage. And a couple of brothers bought this, I think, in around 1980, mid 80s, and they mortgaged their house to buy this motorcycle. Quite an interesting story. They've owned it, they owned it for approximately 10 years, and I acquired the bike in a very interesting and painful trade. And uh, this is it, the one-of-a-kind Dayton original paint. Many people here at Wheels Through Time say this is the coolest original old bike they've ever seen with original paint. And the features on this bike, just incredible. In that era of motorcycling, electric lighting, quite unusual. The Dayton's an electric model, electric headlight, electric tail light, electric horn. And the features on this bike are just incredible. An adjustable front suspension, the Spacky engine, that Dayton actually had their name cashed into it. The condition of this bike, unlike really any other bike I've seen from 1915, the decals and paint are all exceptional. The beautiful leather seat, too much to even appreciate. And what a bike. You know, I have the greatest time here at Wheels Through Time. I've got my friend Calvin and David here. They live in Memphis and Olive Branch. not far from Memphis. And these guys came in here, we jumped in the shop last night, worked on three or four bikes that we just wore out. And today I've asked them if they would put the sidecar on the Dayton motorcycle. It hasn't been attached to this bike in probably 10 or 12 years. I've owned the bike for some time. I've always enjoyed looking at this beautiful sidecar, interior and all, original interior. And I'm gonna let these guys jump in, get the sidecar bolted on, and I'll catch you back in just a little bit.
know, I really want to thank Calvin and David. Thank you guys for, for doing all the work here at Wheels Shine, or at least a lot of the work, putting the Dayton sidecar back together. The bike hadn't been uh, connected in many, many years. Don't really know if the 1,320 some miles on this bike included the sidecar or not. The condition of this machine so extraordinarily incredible for a machine that's nearly 100 years old. The Dayton Motorcycle, the Gentleman's Bike of America. Oh yeah, one more thing. I got so excited putting the sidecar on the rare Dayton motorcycle. I really forgot to talk about the Dayton motor wheel. And of course, these two machines found together in Tony's garage somewhere, I think, in the early 80s. The Dayton motor wheel, the Dayton twin motorcycle. What an unusual machine this is. Pneumatic tires, a Dayton motor unit mounted in the front wheel. That's what powers the machine, but the condition of this machine equally as well as the Dayton Twin. Beautiful pinstriping, beautiful advertising from the Davis sewing machine in Dayton, Ohio. I think it's probably one of the only Dayton motor wheels around. The Dayton motorcycle, I think there's maybe only six or seven in the world. To find a pair of bikes like this in such extraordinary condition with such an extraordinary story, it's a real treasure right here at Wheels Through Time. Don't miss Bike Nights, every night featured in the new Born to Ride magazine. A complete listing of Born to Ride's hottest bike nights for you to check out. This month's issue features Phil Peterson's Harley Davidson's 43rd Key West Poker Run on the front cover. Pick up your free copy today. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. Motorcycle listings. Sell or find your next motorcycle at motolistings.com. Motorcycle listings at motolistings.com. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine, the ultimate multimedia biker experience. Hey, Motorman here for Born to Ride TV with my tip of the week. I have a lot of people write to me and tell me they're having a problem stopping smoothly and stopping the bike exactly where they want it to stop. Some people tell me they even wind up tipping the bike over once it comes to a stop. Generally, the reason for that is they're looking down and they're hitting that front brake with the handlebar slightly turned. Remember, you should squeeze that front brake. The rear brake should be released just prior to putting your feet down. In other words, your final stop must be performed with the front brake. Squeeze that brake, don't snatch it, don't grab it. An easy way to practice this is to set up a little box like I have here. I know this is probably about six feet by four feet and I'm gonna start down at the end of the parking lot. I'm gonna focus on this box about three or four feet above it and try to stop smoothly from various speeds right in this box. My head and eyes will always be up. I'm not gonna snatch or grab that brake. It'll be a nice quick squeeze. Start at 10 or 15 miles per hour and work your way up. If you think riding a motorcycle is fun now, imagine if you really knew what you were doing. For more tips, tricks, and techniques, and to get a copy of my brand new book or the DVD Ride Like a Pro, just log on to RideLikeAPro.com. October 2nd, 3rd, and the 4th, A Beta Florida presents Avon Park Autumn Bike Fest, sponsored by AIM, Aid to Injured Motorcyclists. Live music featuring Bobby Friss, the man who knows how to bring the party, and more bands all three days. Beer garden, food, camping, poker runs, biker activities, vendors call now. Autumn Bike Fest, October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. That's A Bay. For more information, call 941 613 1232.